back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey. I'm Tim. We are a vegan, mostly whole food cooking channel. Do a lot of starch solutions. Sometimes there's some uh, episodes with Tim. If you like what you hear, please hit that like button. Show us some love. And please subscribe and think about becoming part of the Plant Based Dads family. So uh, you can get these videos up to 48 hours early every week if you become a Patreon. A Patreon. A Patreon or our PayPal supporters are our financial supporters that help get the pan help us get put the show together and get the plant-based message out to the public. If you've ever seen the show sure. and thought, how can I help? How can I be part of this? Or if you're in the Facebook group, which is almost twelve thousand people strong now. Yeah, uh, that's how we help you. That's yes. Is having that group. And that's a full time job. That's me, really right? good. Yeah. Good. If you ever saw that and thought, how can I help? How can I be part of this? That's how you can help you become a Patreon member or a PayPal supporter. There's a link to, uh, below the video for both of those on how you can uh, join the team and uh, we would love your help. By the way, since we're in the season of giving, being thankful, we're doing a giveaway. We are. We're giving away a 12 inch uh, Doll Strong fry pan. Uh, we forgot to talk about it last video. Uh, we talked about it a few videos ago. Uh, it's high, high sides, a lid. It is. Like, a, it's a beautiful pan. We it's used, a five ply copper in the middle. Like it's a great pan. We so. used it in one of the recipes. Was it the? No. Uh, we used it in one of the recipes a few so. videos back. It's an absolute beautiful pan. Um, Doll Strong gave us an extra one, and uh, we're going to send that out uh, to some lucky winner. There's uh, information below this video on how you can uh, join the giveaway and get registered, and there's some extra things you can do. Uh, uh, to get some extra, you know, uh, entries into the the giveaway. Um, I think we're gonna ex right now. It's ending November thirtieth. I think we're gonna extend it by one week. So till just because uh, we forgot the last forgot video, about the last video. So, wait, it's so much is going on till December seventh. Yep. We're gonna extend till December seventh. So if you haven't joined yet, uh, you have until December seventh to uh, to go to the link below. Uh, in below this video and um, and join that and get an entry. Someone's got to win it, right? <laughs> it might as well be you. All right, moving along. We're so thankful. Look who joined us today. So <laughs> Little Red's here, and all of Little Red. Little Red has its own has its own private clothier. I don't, but he does, and it's Juliana from the RedElfShop.com. Yeah, and today we have a plant based dad's T shirt on that she made. You know, there's so much stuff to put on him that she's given us over the years, but really, my favorite is just this plant based dad's T shirt. Yeah, right? She is not a paid sponsor or no. anything like that. We're just doing this because this is so thoughtful and. She actually made this with her hands, like, um, she, so we just have to share this. She has amazing outfits all year long uh, for the Elf, and yeah, she just sends us these, and we love them so much, and the Elf was a big part of our lives for so long with Lex, so... All right, I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for dessert. So it's actually the day after Thanksgiving, and we made an amazing Thanksgiving uh, pie, a sweet potato pie. Sweet and, potato pie. Yeah, and yeah. it is from, the recipe is from uh, Sweet Potato Soul. Um, she's an amazing vegan uh, YouTuber, vlogger. Um, she's not oil free, so I've had to convert it, right? Yeah. Uh, and that's usually what I have to do. I have to convert these recipes. So um, it came out absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think part of it is the finish and the taste is the nut crust, which is some pecans, like, the crust was amazing. Yeah, so For no we're, oil. We're gonna show you step by step what we did, and then afterwards I'm gonna tell you what our thoughts are. A real treat for any Thanksgiving table, and we thought this was just fantastic. Yeah, right. oil free. Uh, let's get sharing this with you. Let's get to the food. This recipe makes two full crusts, so you can half it if you'd like to do just one crust. We're starting our pie with the homemade crust. And we're gonna start our homemade crust off with two cups of almonds. And we're tossing them right into our food processor. Next, it's one half a cup of pecans. Then it's one and a quarter cups of rolled oats. Not quick oats, rolled oats. Next, I'm using one teaspoon of either sea salt or Himalayan salt. We're gonna put the top on the food processor here, and we're gonna pulse and mix it until it becomes a coarse meal. You can see right here, I'll grab a little bit with my hands. It's nice and coarse. This is gonna be perfect for a pie shell. Now I'm gonna transfer this whole mixture to a nice big mixing bowl. I wanna make sure to get every drop of that. I need all of that for my pie crusts. Next, we're gonna stir in two cups of spelt flour. I'm just gonna keep on stirring here until it's all combined. And now I'm adding these little containers of uh, apple sauce. They're sugar-free, it's just the apples inside. And I'm adding one and a half of these containers. Each one's about a half a cup, so I would say about three quarters of a cup of applesauce. This is gonna take the place of the oil. After that, I'm adding one half a cup plus two tablespoons of maple syrup. And then finally, I'm adding two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm gonna grab a spoon and try mixing all this up. I need to get it nice and combined. It should form a sticky dough. 
As you can see here, I've switched to uh, the big wooden spoon because that little small spoon wasn't cutting it. And now you can see it's all kind of coming together. You just want to keep working with it. It gets really thick and sticky. Just do the best you can with it. But it should look something like this. Since this makes two full doughs, I'm going to cut this in half. And I'll be working with one of them now and I'll put the other one in the freezer so I can use that at another time. Now I'm going to transfer my dough to this really nice nine inch pie dish. It's probably better if you use like just a metal one with the sides that come up, but uh, this is all I had on hand and we don't have any metal pie dishes, so this is it. I'm going to drop that in there and I'm just going to use my fingers and start working that uh, dough all around the pan, all along the bottom. I'm going to flatten it out there and then push it up against the sides. And I'll use my fingers just to kind of get it all spread around here. And you can see here, it's taking a little bit of time, but it's all kind of coming together and it works out uh, to be just enough to cover the bottom and the entire sides. Next, I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna poke holes all along the bottom. That'll make sure the bottom cooks evenly and that I can get it out without a problem. Now I'm gonna toss it into a 350 degree oven and I'm gonna let that pie shell cook for about 10 minutes before I start filling it up with the pie filling. Oh, it's already looking good. After 10 minutes, I'm gonna take it out of the oven and it's hard to tell from this picture, but it has cooked, so it is now ready to fill. The pie pan is really hot, so be careful with it. Now it's time to make the filling. For the filling, I'm using three cups of cooked mashed sweet potatoes. I air fried them whole in the air fryer for an hour and then peeled the skins off and mashed them up. After that, I'm adding one cup of cubed cooked butternut squash. Next, I'm adding one cup of sugar. It's half light brown sugar and half cane sugar. After that, I'm putting in a half a teaspoon of salt, here the recipe calls for 3 8 of a teaspoon of ground cloves. That is way too strong. I used half of that and I felt like I overdid it. So use the cloves sparingly. I would say a quarter a teaspoon at the most. Cloves have a very strong overpowering taste, so don't overdo this. Next I've got two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of plain unsweetened plant milk. We're just using oat milk here. Four tablespoons of arrowroot powder. And now I'm ready to blend this up. So I'm just putting the top on my Vitamix and it's off to the blender base. Here you can see it's well blended. It almost looks like a soup, but it's much thicker. This is ready to pour into the pie shell. So now you can see we're just taking the blender and we're emptying it right into the pie shell here. And I'm using a spatula just to kind of smooth it up and even it up. This pie won't drop while it's cooking. So you want to make sure you get this right, right at this point. And you can see here, this is exactly the way it should look. It's ready to go in the oven. The pan's still hot, so I'm just gonna pick it up carefully and slide it into a 350 degree oven, and I'm gonna let it cook for 55 zero minutes. Mine cooked perfectly with that time. After the 50 minutes was up, I took it out of the oven, and you can see here, it looks amazing. The nut crust has browned all the way around. The pie filling is firm, but it still looks soft and moist. The coloring is amazing. That has Thanksgiving written all over it. It does look like it's stuck to the sides here, so we'll see how that is about getting that off. But at this point, I'm loving everything I'm seeing here. I'm gonna let this cool for at least 30 minutes before I do anything with it. Now it's time to cut it. I'm gonna use my doll strong paring knife here, and I'm just gonna take my knife and run it along the side and the bottom of the pie to make sure that I can cut it without a problem. I'm gonna section off a piece right here. Now I will tell you for sure that the end of the pie stuck to the pan. The bottom was no problem, but the end stuck to it for sure. So I'm using my knife just to kind of cut the end here so it comes out without a problem when I put the spatula in. And here I am just kind of popping the spatula in there and getting the first piece out. I was worried that it would be all chopped up and, and a mess, but actually it came right out in one shot. So I was pretty impressed by that. And here you have it, an absolutely beautiful piece of sweet potato pie. Look at this texture, the thickness, the coloring. I can't wait to dig in. And that's all there is to it. Uh, an absolutely amazing pie. As you can see here, it's absolutely beautiful. The color is right on, the crust is gorgeous. Uh, you can see in there the thickness, it, I mean the texture, it, it stayed together. Yeah. It's an amazing looking pie, right? It is, and I think we want to go over some tips or some observations, um, just how this pie sets itself apart from others. The first thing I want to talk about is the crust is everything. Like yeah. this crust, we, you can see we had a piece yesterday. I didn't want to eat much of it because we had to show it today, but we had and we had other stuff to eat anyway. But uh, the crust is everything. It's, yeah. it's just like a really good nut bar, right? Yeah. Your your 
the finish of the taste is from the crust. So the crust, obviously, not something you want to eat every day. No. Because while it is whole food plant-based, it's all nuts, right? So my first suggestion here is we did not oil the pan, all right? And it's stuck to the pan. Now, it's not stuck where I can't get it out. I had to, like, cut around the edges. And when I did that, I can go in and go along the bottom and get my beautiful piece of pie out, right? So... I mean, the crust is all there, but it is kind of like you have to put some work into it, yeah, right? Yeah, it stays intact, so it's successful. But just if you don't mind that there is some residue left behind of, of nut, I'm okay with that. All right, my second point I wanted to bring up is the way this bakes is the way it went in. So when we filled it up to this level, this is how it turned out. Yeah, it didn't sink it or didn't anything. It didn't swell and then sink no. like some pumpkin pies just do. the way it is. Or a souffle or something. So... Uh, that's just really nice when you can predict something and get the result out that you intended or wanted. So as it is, this is how we put it in. So that is a, that's a win. So uh, the other option is, I mean, if they make pie parchment papers, I don't know if they make this where you put the parchment in the pie thing and then make it in there, then you just lift it out and slide it off, right? So, I mean, there's some options for that. If you have to, you can spray, if you're going to someone's house, we didn't do this, but if you're going to someone's house, you can spray a little spray oil, just a little bit, and use your fingers and rub it in, right, to coat the thing. Um, we weren't taking it to someone's house, so I didn't care if it stuck. I'm okay eating it as a crumble. It doesn't matter to me, right? Yep. It stays intact. It did um, stay you intact. Can see that. I just like you had to work a little bit to make sure that happened. All right, ready to try this? Yep. Look <laughs> how beautiful this looks. Like, that's an amazing piece of pie right there, right? I'm going to take it from the end because I want oh, someone's uh, car horn. Feel a little bit more. Yeah, up. I want to get the nuts in it. So let's see what we got here. All right, go ahead. Oh man, I heated it up in the microwave, it's so good. I'm gonna eat warm pie instead of cold. Mm. So good. So, an amazing yeah. Thanksgiving option for pie. Yes. For the whole holiday, yeah. for, for uh, Christmas and New Year's and all that, right? And sometimes I think sweet potato pie, what? Uh, I love sweet potato pie. Makes sense, but anyway, um, with the spice that we put in this, um, I'm okay with not having pumpkin pie. Like, this satisfies all that. You can make this your own. You can put in whatever spices. Like, we have pumpkin spice in the cabinet if we wanted to put that in. There's different things you can put in. I feel like the recipe, the way it is, uh, is pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, why mess with something that's perfection, right? Exactly. All right, so an amazing sweet potato pie for your holidays, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Um, that's our show for today, right? Yeah. Hit the like button, show us some love. Uh, click on the subscribe button. You'll get notified every time we have a new video, right? Usually every Tuesday. Um, leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts. Are you making pies? I don't I don't eat pies because I don't like pie crust. I think they're just lardy and fat, right? I'm a pie guy. I, I'm not. Um, so this is a treat for me. Obviously, this has got more fat than a pie crust because it's all uh, nuts. But whole food plant-based, uh, once uh, once this time of year. That's Special it. occasion. I think it's exactly. amazing. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.